All right, hey Libra. So I am doing a singles read for you guys. And um, if this doesn't resonate with your energy, so you're gonna know it's your read by your energy, make sure you check your moon rising and Venus placements. And this is, um, the rest of the read is gonna be um, about the person that's coming towards you. All right, so if you guys are new, welcome. I do hope you'll subscribe to my channel, show some love. And for some of you, this could just be confirmation of uh, somebody new that you have just recently met. All right, so I'm just pulling a message from your spirit guides, your angels. Your life is your life does not get better with, by chance. It gets better by change. All right. So I'm going to pull your energy first. Or Libra. Wow. You are, a, oh my God, you guys, this is not a new deck. I've used it. I am just, so, I'm blown away, truly. Um, I have used this deck more than once and you have the priestess and the magician coming out in the drop. So you are in this energy. Um, I'm not gonna say, um, um, <laughs> this, is a, this is a singles read, you guys. Um, and I didn't have a placement on if this was a past person or not, but um, this is divine masculine and this is a divine feminine coming out on one drop and these are divine counterparts. All right, these are the, the, the I'm just really tongue tied right now. I can't believe this, you guys. So the emperor and the empress are the magician and the priestess before they get pregnant. Okay, so um, you are in the energy of I'm not taking anybody but my soulmate. Um, and if you know this person, um, you might be able to resonate with this read, even though I'm projecting new, new energy. Um, and, um, some of you, this is a twin flame journey. Some of you might not know what a twin flame is, but you're in the energy where you're not accepting anything less than what you know you deserve. Um, that's huge. That's huge. So who's this person coming towards you? Who, what is their energy? Look at this, you guys. Six of Cups. This is past life. Um, so the person that's coming towards you is, um, <laughs> this is also a reference of a return of the past. Now, this is not going to be for everybody. All right. This is going to go two ways. Some of you guys um, are on a twin flame journey, and this is confirmation that this is a past life uh, situation for you and them. Um, and on the other scale we have the full card coming out so brand new energy now if it's the return of a past person in this lifetime it is a twin flame and they're coming through as a rejuvenate a rejuvenated type of energy so you guys could have been in separation for some time for others of you this is um, confirmation um, that you will be receiving your soulmate so if you have been single and you want nothing um, less than a soulmate this is your confirmation. This is a past life coming into you as new energy. So nothing, no persons from the past, okay? This person is going to be a breath of fresh air, whether you've dealt with them in this lifetime or not. Um, and this is gonna be somebody who is truly the embodiment of a twin flame, not a narcissistic, narcissistic toxic past relationship. You guys have to, um, you know, this person, if you're on a twin journey, they don't make you feel like a piece of shit. I just gotta say that. Um, maybe in the time you're in that, but it's like as, as you guys are separation, um, the feelings um, grow very strong and you're, you're, you're bringing back fond memories of this person and wishing them well. Okay, now for the people who are here who have not been in a relationship, who are just longing for um, the soulmate, this is it. 30 to 60 day intention, by the way. So the energy of this relationship. Wow. Wow. The energy of the relationship, you guys. Look at 10 of wands, 
five of coins you're done you're so done with everything and anything that was of the past even if you're dealing with a twin and you know this person you are so done with with the in and out with the stagnant energy with it never moving up all right but let me tell you this you two have both been through a lot the ten of wands and the five of coins this is sadness pain hurt this is um, just having and carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders. You guys have been through so, so much together. But look at the energy. Look at this is the light in the forest right here. The Palace of Coins. This is the highest card that you can get um, in this deck of any suit. All right. So this is money. This is um this is like having luxury. This is having the ultimate commitment, your ultimate wishes um, being fulfilled, your ultimate dreams, um, everything, money, love, stability. This is all going to be coming through and you and this person are going to show each other that energy. That is so that's it just made my heart like super like melt into my body. You guys, that's beautiful energy. So what is this person like? What is this person like? Okay. Yeah, definitely um, spiritual. So if you if you feel like you're on a spiritual path or have a hint of spirituality, this person does too. This person has cleared a lot of releasing that they've had to do, a lot of inner conflict, a lot of inner turmoil. All right, this they could be a Virgo. Um, but this person, what are they, they like? They're here to um, fulfill your wishes and um, their own by this um, connection. All right. Um, this will also depict um, a reconciliation or extending the olive branch, kind of giving in um, for those who are dealing with a past. All right. Um, but this person truly is coming back in the form of the hermit, which is somebody who's had an, a spiritual awakening, gone within, done the self-healing, done the self-reflection, truly in the embodiment of the wishes that you wanted when you guys first met. OK, this person's they're, they're they've they're awakened libra all right um and for those of you who are um new who this is a new um, situation i feel like you are on a spiritual path um you're very high vibrational this person that's coming into you has done all the clearing they needed and they're coming to you as the same alignment the same vibration the challenges the challenges we have the king of swords and the three of pentacles um, i don't really see these as negative challenges right here um, if libra um, this is i'm saying you because this is air um, it could be communication that's kind of all i'm getting is and it's not even that you guys lack communication it could be like talking um, over one another um, you know trying to make your point of view more um, uh, per, per it's uh, like I don't know how to, I don't know how to say what I'm saying but I feel like you know how people get loud sometimes and I, I do that crap myself I'm um, I'm horrible at talking over people you guys um, but it's I feel like it's kind of um, voicing you know what you want voicing how you feel voicing the opinions but mutually meeting in the middle all right, this is a card that's, it's a very successful card. It's about best friends. It's about partners. It's all about commitments, okay? Um, so two, if you've lacked um, commitment in the past or you've had people use you, I feel like this is addressing, um, you know, where you have um, not felt heard in past relationships, make yourself heard in, in this one, all right? Um, I don't really know what to say because these cards are actually not very um, negative. Um, I just, I feel with that King of Swords, there might be too, um, just a, a little mode of um, over-honesty, and it's not that you're gonna lie to this person, but um, uh, like, ha like have some couth. I don't know if you've ever been told that you might have a dagger of a tongue. Um, but I just kind of feel like it's like take it easy on this person when they come back around or when they come in. They might not be used to your bold personality. The favorable aspects. Oh, yeah. Look at 
the favorable aspects is this is going to be something brand new for both of you to experience and this is going to be a huge shift in wish fulfillment all right um, this is going to be um, life changing this is going to be a game changer for you guys and that's going to be throughout the existence of this relationship um, that's huge it's a huge positive transformation your advice your advice okay so for those of you who um, are expecting the return of a past um, twin flame energy um, your your angels and your spirit guides are saying don't stress on it no more completely release and let it go okay um, which i feel like you have but it's like don't fret this person is coming in and if this person was afraid before they're not if they didn't give you commitment before um, they're they're coming through with the full-on commitment and for those of you who are new and this twin flame thing does not resonate all this is saying is that people of the past who were non-committal who were emotionally unavailable who were detached from their heart space you're not going to experience that no more not with this person they're coming in solid all right this is a strong form of commitment right here um, a lot of earth energy so i feel like this person could be taurus virgo or, or capricorn um, energy right here so i'm just going to pull some initials and this is going to be um, of the person that's coming in all right and just because the, their initials might not show um, it's fine as long as the read resonates with you it's yours What do we got for? Let me get two more. All right. We have H, U, N, L, M, and C. All right, Libra, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you guys will um, comment. Let me know who is who might be experiencing this now um, or even come back in the future. Again, 30 to 60 day intention. You guys um, keep your vibrations high. Stay in this high priestess and um, magician mode that is uh, balanced. So your energy in that drop tells me that you are balanced in your divine feminine and masculine energy. And it's wonderful, wonderful energy to be in. All right. Love you guys.